Hi, my fabulous brides and their lovely bridesmaids. I'm Valeria and I'm the hostess of the newest online channel and the freshest web resource dedicated to everything related to weddings, Wedding Web Corner. Please visit our website, WeddingWebCorner.com for regularly updated useful tips and advice. We all remember laughing at the ridiculous and simply ugly bridesmaid dresses worn by our moms back in the day. Who can forget the pink sweetheart neckline with puffy sleeves? Puffy sleeves with lace combo, ooh, double epic fail. The big bow number, the budget-friendly grandma curtain option, make your own ugly bridesmaid dress edition, and even the Minnie Mouse Fantasy Club. While we all like to think that with the infinite selection of styles, colors and fabrics available on the market today, the days of the ugly bridesmaid dresses are over, the reality is that in many ways our mentality and the approach to the whole idea of bridesmaid dresses hasn't changed all that much. Of course, we all understand that most brides want everybody to be happy on their special day and leave positive memories to everyone involved in the process as well as the guests. So it's unlikely that a bride will deliberately want you to wear something completely hideous unless of course she's the biggest Lady Gaga fan and wants you to wear her infamous big dress. But jokes aside, even in today's society we've all heard the same question. Why are bridesmaid dresses always so ugly? So let's take a look at what makes an ugly bridesmaid dress these days. So the first reason is dresses are too simplistic. The traditional bridesmaid fashion etiquette emphasizes the fact that a bridesmaid must never ever overshadow the bride. And that is why we have a natural tendency to choose a bridesmaid dress with this mentality of the simpler the better. However, the truth is that unless your bridesmaid shows up in a bikini, same style of a dress as your bridal gown, or a Cinderella number so puffy that two other bridesmaids can fit under her skirt, chances are the bride will still be the star of the show. It's understandable that most brides choose simple bridesmaid dresses as to avoid the critique of being too trendy, a one-year fashion hit that will be forgotten or laughed at in five years. So most prefer what they believe are timeless dresses. However, going overly simplistic has a negative connotation because it screams bridesmaid dress. So here are some examples of popular simplistic dresses to avoid. Exhibit A is the most basic strapless A-line dress in thick bridal satin, which is perhaps one of the most common styles still bought today and which I personally believe should be illegal in today's bridesmaid fashion because of the combination of fabric that is so thick and there is so much of it that it just stays there practically motionless like paper. Definitely not an eye pleaser. Dear brides, did a sales lady at the bridal store tell you that this is a classic? Or did you read on the internet that A-line is one of the safest options to go with when buying the same dresses for all of your bridesmaids? My dear brides, you can do so much better. Long A-line dresses can be quite flattering on many women, that's true. But it's the texture, the way the fabric flows and drapes, and detailing that makes a basic A-line dress into an eye-pleasing number. So consider more texture and using lighter fabrics for your A-line dresses, use pleats and interesting gatherings of the fabric. This year's fashion trends call for funky fabric layering in the bust area, so that might be an interesting alternative. Too simplistic of a dress design can make the basic spaghetti strap look like a fancy nightgown. Do you want that? Even a halter that ends with, once again, an industrial quantity of plain thick satin in its skirt loses its potential of a sexy and flattering number for those with nice shoulders. It's simply boring as the focal point becomes the huge motionless A-line skirt. Adding a bit of detailing to the dress is a good way of spicing up even the simplest dress. Adding a big flower, maybe even some sparkly decorations. Something not too overwhelming, but still something that would stand out and make the dress look less like a boring, simplistic cookie cutter number that screams bright, bright made dress, but more like an elegant evening gown. Another faux pas of bridesmaid fashion is too much fabric or the dress is too busy in the wrong places. For example, 
lots of frills all over makes your wedding look more like a sweet 16 party. Remember, wedding is the ultimate step towards adulthood, so elegance and even a small touch of sexiness and mystery is more appropriate than the cutesy, aww, hello kitty feel. This one here is the Christmas tree dress. Well, it's more appropriate for a masquerade party than an elegant event. Drape body's bubble satin dress looks like a heavy winter curtain at a Parisian arts museum. There's just way too much fabric. Even this cutesy bubble bottom T-length dress is a difficult style to pull off if the fabric is thick, like in Tafeta, because it just looks too bulky. Moving on to the third reason why bridesmaid dresses are ugly, and it's the wrong style for the body type. While traditionally we're used to seeing a row of identically dressed bridesmaids, the one style fits all approach to bridesmaid dresses is no longer appropriate. Aside from the obvious fact that most females would not be keen on the idea of wearing the same dress as three other girls at the same event, it's important to remember that your bridesmaids may not only have different skin color or tone, but also they are of different heights and body shapes. That is why a modern bride should be more flexible on the different styles of bridesmaid dresses without having to compromise the formal and stylish look because there are many ways to create a unifying look while maintaining individuality and flexibility. In my personal analysis of thousands of bridesmaid dresses, I would say that Empire Waistline is probably the hardest one to pull off effectively. Empire Waistline would make even the skinniest woman alive look slightly pregnant. In fact, this dress has been described by style experts as the perfect dress for a pregnant bridesmaid in her third trimester because it visually eliminates your waistline and it's making a woman look more shapeless or, or square. So yes, it's a perfect dress for a huge all-you-can-eat buffet style of a wedding, but do you really want to look prego when you're not? Spaghetti straps make larger women's arms look bad. Go for thicker straps or maybe a nice v-neck. Thicker straps on a deep, nice v-neck top would be much more flattering for a bigger chested girl. By contrast, certain deeper v-necks might be a bad choice for women with smaller chests because you need to fill it up. For example, my bridesmaid dress for my best friend's wedding had to be slightly taken in in a thick strap because there was simply too much fabric just hanging right above my bust area. By gathering the straps, I visually enhanced my breath. 